Okay, we're going to start on page 100. This is number five in the workbook. Clara Schumann work. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've written the chord names here just so that it's easier for me to decide what pitches are chord pitches or uh, chord tones and what are non-chord tones. So I'm going to circle things that are not part of each chord. So here in the first measure, we're looking for anything that's not an F, an A, or a C. And right here, we already see one that's not an F, an A, or a C. I'm just going to go through and circle them all first. So next chord, we're looking for anything that's not a G, a B flat, or a D. G, B flat, or D. This pitch here is not a G, a B flat, or a D. And this bass pitch here is not a G, uh, G B flat, or a D. Next one, this F sharp is not a G flat, shoot, is not a G, a B flat, or a D as well. Next chord, uh, C major minor seven. So anything that's not a C, an E, a G, or a B flat. So this is not a C, a G, or a C, an E, a G, or a B flat. This F down here also is not a C, an E, or a G flat. Then we go to an F major chord here which I totally missed writing down. So we need anything that's not an F, an A, or a C. These two pitches here are not F, A, or C. I'm going to count this little pitch here. This is called a grace note, um, and it's a little added ornamentation, uh, but I'm, I am going to count it um, as uh, a non-chord tone. So I'm gonna circle it as well. So that one and this one. It's kind of weird. We'll take a look at this. We'll talk about this one in a moment. Next up, anything that's not an F, an A, or a C, we're good here. Anything that's not a C, an E, or a G in this chord, so this pitch here is not a C, an E, or a G. Moving down, B flat, D, or F. Anything that's not a B flat, a D, or an F, this and this. A, C, or E, anything that's not an A, a C, or an E. This pitch right here is not an A, a C, or an E. Here, anything that's not a G, a B flat, or a D. This A is not one of those pitches. F major six, everything here is a chord tone. C major minor four, three, everything here is a chord tone. Uh, we're going to omit, uh, here's the F major, right? We're going to omit all of this because it's got harmony that's too advanced for us. Back here, we're looking. We have C major minor seven, all are chord, tone, chord tones. F major six four, all are chord tones. C major minor seven, all are chord tones. And then F major, all are chord tones. So let's go back and look at, sorry about that. Let's go back and look at each measure. How is this non-chord tone approached? It's approached by leap down and step up. That's an appoggiatura. This one is approached by leap up and step down. That's also an appoggiatura. This is approached by step down, left by step up. That's a neighboring tone. This down here, we see an F, an F, and an F. In two instances, the Fs are circled. We call that a pedal tone. It's resolved here when we finally get back to the F. Even though that F is not in the bass, these two are considered pedal tones. So pedal tone, pedal tone, or P-E-D actually is probably a better way to say it, pedal tones. Does that make sense? I hope so. Let's look at this. This is approached by leap, resolved by step down. Leap up, step down, that's an appoggiatura. Now over here, there are two ways to look at this. Now we can identify, um, I, I would say that we should count that little E, that um, grace note because it is heard. So if we were to count that, we would look at it as a step up, or I'm sorry, leap up, step down. So that little E technically is an appoggiatura. Then that D is approached by step down, left by step down, that D is a passing. If we were to ignore the grace note, which I really don't think we should, that D would be a neighboring tone. So the E is an appoggiatura, and the D is a passing tone. Next measure, we have to look, this D is approached by step up, and it's left by 
step down in measure five. So step up, left by step down. So that's a neighboring tone. Step up, resolved in the next line by step down. Um, here we have uh, this C is approached by step down from the D. So let's go back. This D steps down to the C, then we have a leap down. So step, then a leap, that's an escape tone. This A is approached by leap down, step up. That's an appoggiatura. You can see that um, Clara is using, uh, Clara Vick Schumann is using a lot of non-chord tones, one right after the other. So here's an example of two non-chord tones in a row, and here's an example of two, uh, three non-chord tones in a row. So all you do for these is, yeah, sure, the previous pitch is a non-chord tone, but we're looking at how this is left or approached and left. This C is approached by a step down, left by a leap down. So that's an escape tone. This next pitch is approached by a leap down, step up. That's an appoggiatura. So you can have more than one non-chord tone in a row. Here's another example. Here we have this B flat is approached by step down, left by step down. That's a passing tone. This A is approached by step down, left by step down. That's a passing tone. So two passing tones in a row. And then that's it. So here's a good picture of that.